everyone and welcome indeed to Hieroglyphics Gaming. I'm Mikey H and we're on Tesso Tamil Unlimited. Uh, we're at Bleak Rock Isle, um, which is the home, um, the starting point really of our alliance, um, which is the Abenhart Pact. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at guys. And uh, we have picked a magic and sorceress called Aranella. Elise. Uh, so that's what we've picked guys and I've never, like I said in, in the last few videos and I've been saying quite a bit, I've never even used the staff so this is all pretty new to me but I am following a, a build um, from a, a guy called uh, Hack the Minotaur, that's his channel and I want to promote his channel obviously, Hack the Minotaur and, and look it up and he, he does some fantastic builds on there guys and, um, and there's also of course Inode Gaming as well. Um, and Christopher, and there's quite a few in Deltia um, that you can look up there, and they're just amazing guys. They really, really are. They, they're, they're fantastic at Zynode, especially, and Hackman and so brilliant at builds as well as explaining game mechanics and dungeon mechanics. I totally, totally recommend them. I really do. Uh, if you want to get into PvP as well, Christopher is really good. But I'm going to leave links for those channels. So, uh, guys, we're going to do a few different things here that we need to do. <laughs> uh, we've put our championship points in. Um, very very quickly really quickly I put, I put I'm following a, a build here I put 51 in warlord which is reduces the cost of breakthrough by 19% uh, that's all I put in in um, um, the well it's the tower here um, we put them in warlord uh, very quickly in the lover uh, this is uh, the thief um, section of it in the lover we put 43 in tenacity which increases the magicka and stamina your fully charged heavy attacks restore by 10 Point fifteen percent, which we'll be using quite a lot of those. Arcanist um, increases your magic and recovery. Of course, we need that too. That twenty-seven in that. Mooncalf increases your stamina recovery. So we do need a little bit of stamina recovery for dodging and things like that. But healthy, we also need because this build is, is, is built upon uh, sustainability um, and soloing. Um, so it increases your health recovery by fourteen percent. Well, in the, the next one, seventy-six would have fourteen point oh seven it's just not even worth it the perks you get back from it are, are almost not worth putting in uh, the, the difference between the next point literally point naught seven percent is really not worth it for an extra one so it's capped there um, shadow we have um, 28 in shadow ward because um, it reduces the cost of block uh, and we've got some in tumbling as well just because there's a little bit of leeway there when we can roll out the way and, and um, the roll dodge um, the reduced cost is 10.22 percent um, so on apprentice we've got um, I'm running uh, 64 on spell erosion there which is of course increases the spell penetration by 45 uh, well 4595 uh, and the next point would be 4633 which is quite an increase so you could maybe put a few more in that I put the rest though in elemental expert which of course is increases your flame frost shock and magic damage I mean we, we really really need that now look then any more points in that 14.07 it really just isn't worth it is it so um, so that's why I stopped it there of course yeah we've got 56 in uh, staff expert there um, obviously um, and then if you go to the ritual we've got um, just 75 in thaumaturge and that just really just gets us um, these here uh, you know perfect strike increases your weapon critical by 9% exploit it and um, increases your damage done against off balance enemies by 10% which is quite high and opportunist when you interrupt an enemy your next physical damage ability used within seven seconds deal 15 percent additional damage so interrupt guys interrupt and then do physical damage as soon as you interrupt so obviously that's something to to uh, pick up on um we did you know we didn't do the steed did we i've got ironclad just put it into i know the spell shield there but we're not bothered too much about spell resistances really um in the moment we're just going in and out and bashing stuff and you know just getting clearing it as quick as possible but ironclad it reduces your damage taken against direct damage attacks and that's what we do need um the lady we've put um, to get some of these here as well we've got 64 in hardy reduces damage taken from physical poison and disease damage and elemental defender of course damage taken from flame frost shock and magicka is reduced 
um, and also thick skinned damage taken from damage over time or dots um, is is reduced as well so that's good and then finally the Lord uh, we've got uh, 20 in Bastion which increases effectiveness of the your damage shields um, so that's pretty good um, and let's look next to one in the your physical armor focus because actually it's a heavy sorry armor focus because actually even though it seems really strange for a um, magicka based sorcerer and um, uh, normally we're in light we're actually going with heavy armor for sustainability um, and impenetrable kind of um, approach so so there you go guys that gives you a little bit of uh, help on that but we're also gonna um, go into options we're going to look at gameplay um, and we're looking at where are we um just to make sure we've got this set right i've got enemy color set to um yeah to this blue that's fine you can set it to whatever you like but i've, I've changed it from the red to, to i like i prefer this um and then pretend prevent attacking innocence on you kind of need that really if you're in the dark brother you'll have to turn that off obviously um and uh now here we want quick grass count abilities um, I think that's fine on that um, yeah I'm not bothered about that too much time um, console area loot on auto loot you I would say put that on um, and then you can um, yeah leave that off <laughs> um, and then where are we I think we're okay with that uh, that's, so that's gameplay combat let's go to combat ability bar um, we want our ability oh yeah always show that's right um, put these on um, you want those um, number I go number and percent um, active combat tips um, we're not bothered about that too much but um, ulti number uh, put that on um, this is damage outgoing damage is on that's on on yeah I think we're okay with that some of these are, I think they're on I, I put them on the other characters and it by default um, we don't really need that too much I don't think um, that's fine um, yeah everything's pretty much on so I think we're all right now so, um, we want to show our buffs and debuffs always show um, yeah oh we, oops always oh, show buffs on 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 from others um keep what you can do let's so let's let's um go back and see what how that looks now yeah that's good that is good you see the difference now um yeah we can see the percentage of our health and um you know the actual amount of our health 20.3 um, we've just got five in there and you'll see uh, someone un unstable familiar so that th those are the these are the active effects so those two right at the top of the health bar are active effects okay so they're showing permanently now um, so that's good so I think I think that's about it guys so what we need to do now we need to find dodge don't we so let's do that um, Let's have a little look at uh, what we do need to do, first of all, is sell. That would be a pretty good idea if we can maybe go and sell some stuff. Um, we picked stuff up, didn't we? So that's fine. Um, so, uh, just be aware there's sometimes books as well to pick up. Um, right, here we are, there's one. The Alchemy from My Apprentice. Um, and enchanting made easy it's really rather ironic that you don't actually get an increase for those particular books to be honest but uh, anyway not to worry and then right um another one here yeah we picked up a few books there what have you carpenter let's just sell to this guy here he will actually I talk to us woodworking for the village here most of it anyway anything i can help you with all right um okay so we don't want to buy anything but we might want to sell so uh, i'm gonna well that's worth nothing isn't it right sell that homespun robe sell that 
Um, we'll keep that. We'll keep that for the time being. Oh, look at this. Look, we've picked all this up, guys, and it's not worth anything. I mean, what's the point? No. Look at that. It's worth nothing. <laughs> and even the sweet silver pendant isn't worth anything. I mean, really. And it's bound to me, so I can't even sell it. So that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. That. Right. Um, so we've got 274 anyway. Um, we're going to have to repair stuff and trade. Yep. There we are. Okay, so. Should be a little sign. Is this the banker? This could be him. He is. Yep, this is the banker. Here we are. So this might be a good idea to take these. these um, Spellcaster, we can get all that. Definitely. Um, Swift Survivor, I tell you what, let's split the stack, um, and yeah, and let's just take seven, and let's do the same here, split the stack, but I'm gonna, oh, hang on, not that many, uh, I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take the 15, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, we, that's fine, so we've got some food guys here, um, so let's go to our inventory and let's go to uh, slottable items and we can actually put this, allocate that to there. That's good. And the same for that. We can assign that to there. And start using these up. Um, try starts there. It's always a good idea to just do this. and it, There's no point in them lying around in a bank not doing anything when you can actually be using them. And it can be really, you know, basically saving your life. <laughs> so, um, and there we are, guys. We're good to go. Brilliant. Off we go. And off we do go into the uh, freezing cold again. We have to evacuate. Wow. Our stamina is... Oh, dear. It, it's, you know, I can do this all day with my damage ceiling. It barely moves. <laughs> So this is going to take a bit of... Uh, I'm going to put this on, by the way. It's going to help. I can collect this because it will go straight into my um, crafting bag. Love the, I love the way you just pull out a pickaxe. <laughs> I mean, where did she get that from? I'd love to know. I really would love to know. But <laughs> um, I, would, I didn't see a, pick, a pickaxe, did you guys? I, um, yeah. Didn't see that at all. Hang on. Can hear something going on here. Um, and like I say, and I, I don't know I keep saying it guys, you must be getting fed up with me saying it, but just just pick up as much as you can, don't you know, just especially early on in the game. Here we are. It says fine dart, I know, but it's got hot hot near here. So let's talk to this guy. Curse that death claw. Eight to my foot. I had to use my boot and some leather as a tourniquet. Damn it! What happened? I've been tracking the beast for weeks. I call him Deathclaw. I finally caught up to him, but it... Well, it went badly. It looks like it. If I can find him, I'll get him for you. Now, there's a plan. If you bag him, I'll toss you some coin for your trouble. As I made my escape, some stuff fell out of my pack. You should be able to follow what I dropped, like a trail back to his lair. All right, I'll track him down, Hockney. Follow the trail I left when I made my escape. You'll know his lair by the bones, blood, and smell. Tempt him with some game, and I bet you'll get his attention. Why have you been tracking this beast? I've been hunting beasts in the wild of Skydream all my life. Deathclaw ravaged a couple of herds near Kynesgrove. I took on a contract to end him. I always fulfill my contracts. Well, you might just about fulfill this with my help, but maybe you need to look for another job. I don't know. <laughs> He's been doing it all his life, though, to be honest, so... And yet, you know, failed on this one badly, didn't you, matey? Never mind. <laughs> well, let's help him out, shall we? So, um, yeah, let's, let's just, um, Ooh, still doing his attack there. <laughs> D 
there are, I have to say as well, you've got to be careful because there's quite a few treasure chests around here, right? If I remember rightly. Oh, wow, doing a lot of damage now. The difference with those championship points of and making now I think is actually beginning to show uh, especially early on in the game to be honest it early on in the game it really does show it, it not so much later on when you're chopping and changing around you well you do you, you obviously you can feel the effects of it just spamming that early now but um, let's use some other ones as well Really, it's a waste of time, to be honest, in using the pet one on these, because... Wow, total whitewash. <laughs> that, that's it, yeah. Let's make our way over. It looks like this, this guy's just gone and killed that thing, so we may have to wait for it to re regen, I don't... But it do, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a few people around now. I'm trying to use all my skills really so that, you know, I'm constantly levelling them up. Well, I'll have chance in a bit, I'm sure. There you go, the dark magic increases. Alright, so here's the game that we need to look at. Uh, Bone pile, use. Hopefully, follow. Happiness things. Oh, he's here. Oh, where's he going? He's going back. Let's draw him out. Pretty easy, really. Oh, there's another one there. Huh. Job done. Huh. Let's have a look in here then. See if there's anything. Battle axe, no. Total waste of time. That will be worth nothing. Pewter scene, that's good. And now you know. There we are. We're kind of done with here. Talk to Hockney. That's one little quest done. But yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I, I do seem to remember that there was chests and chessy chests and stuff on the way. Um, can't find them here now. So another wolf there then. Here we are. Oh. I got rooted then. That's me not watching what what I'm doing. So busy watching the other wolf. <laughs> I didn't even realise I was rooted. Wow, I have to say, they are really, really overpowered. I mean, magic or sorcerers, but they are so overpowered, it's amazing. Dead. Gazonk. <laughs> Gertje. Have it. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> it's that, I, I, you know, guys, I have to say, probably you can hear it in my voice, I am actually thoroughly enjoying playing like this totally totally new kind of character um i mean really really new to me really new it's just absolutely loving it it really am point yeah that's what i was going to say you know i do you know you're going to attack something do look in its direction it does help 
Look how quickly that's regenerated. <laughs> but yeah, I am definitely, definitely enjoying this so much. Um, just kill a few more while I can. Good song. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes such a change to them. Um, you know, dual wielding and things like that, you know, because um, my my damage dealer is a dual wielder and and it's, it's you know, it's good, it's, uh, I've enjoyed playing him and everything, I've gone a long, long way with him, but, you know, I have to say, this, this kind of is beating it hands down, really. <laughs> I'm going to have to head back to town soon, my friend. Lost a lot of blood. How goes the hunt? I've killed him, Hockner. A hunter with the heart of Iskramor. Here's the coin I promised. I'll sing your praises next time I see the inside of a mead hall. Don't worry about me. I know the way back to town. Wound or no wound. Right, complete quest. There we go. So a little quest there that we've completed already. That's good. Now let's go back to finding Dodge. Major Fury can now be morphed. Right. That's good. Oh, you see, they're getting a lot of increases there. How are we doing with our level? We are not far off. We are not far off. Everything's all leveling up pretty well. Uh, and I'm totally, totally enjoying this. I really, really am. It's just such great fun. And I probably may spend most of the time just here totally... Um oh, here he is. Charge the Hunter. Yeah. Can you use that weapon, friend? Oh, I. I need your help. <laughs> Just tell me what's going on. There's a necromancer here, but I can't find him. He must be in the catacombs beneath the shrine. That's the only place that makes sense. Mm. Something has to be done about these undead. How can I help? The dead walk at Sky Shroud. There's an evil power radiating from within the shrine. But the door is locked. In the Skull's Tales... Every dragon shine had a priest. If we could speak with Sky Shroud's priest, he could tell us how to get in. Speak to his spirit, you mean? If Shaw is willing, yes. I brought a bag of incense to burn as an offering. The bone men got me before I could try the ritual. You might have better luck. What do you say? Give me the bag and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I hope you have better luck at the shrine than I did. Watch yourself in there. What can you tell me about Sky, Sh Sky Shroud Barrow? I keep saying, wanting to say Shroud Half Barrow in Skyrim, but you know, Sky Shroud Barrow. Barrow has been here for as long as anyone can remember. Legends say a cult of dragon worshippers built it, as well as the shrines like it on the mainland. No one has ever tried to get in? Some folks have, mostly youngsters. Until recently, this place was haunted by dust and the occasional frostbite spider. Now, skeletons rise from their graves. Something has changed. Okay, goodbye then. And we shall go and we'll have a look and see. I think... Yes, I think we need to go... Well, we can go both ways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's um, try a little bit of this, guys, and see if that makes any difference. And it does. We've got refreshing drink there as well if you need it. In fact, no, let's not bother with that. Let's go for... It's a difficult one, isn't it? Spellcaster, let's try that. I've never tried these before, guys. I've never really had to, to be honest. Uh, there we are. Um, light attack. Stone call. Down. Wow. No messing there, then. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need, um, I don't think we're going to be needing uh, much in the way. I think, let's just put that back on then. So let's go over here to summon the dragon priest. That's what we've got to do, isn't it? 
Um. <laughs> You're down. <laughs> You're down. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it. This is good. I can really, uh, yeah, I can really get used to this, guys. I really can. Uh, this is awesome. Somebody else having fun over there. Um. <laughs> talk to Halrin. Let's talk to them. Maggot, you dare summon me? I need your help, spirit. How can I enter the barrow? Can you comprehend the power I once had? Why should I help Not really. anything? Someone has desecrated your shrine, you may have noticed. <laughs> yes, I can sense that. Some worm defiled this place. There you go. <laughs> you are now my will incarnate, mortal. Enter the barrow and kill this worm. I will. How can I get into the barrow? You need to ask that. Once everyone yeah. knew the ritual. Three rune stones unlock the door. They're placed in prominent positions around the shrine. Find them and put them on their pedestals around the door. Then you'll gain entrance. Now go. Okay, goodbye. Um Oh, intelligent one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Collect the whale and the snake and the eagle. Right, well, that that's like above. Right, so let's go above. Okay, where we, oh, let's get this one first, and this seems to be the easiest one. the eagle rune stone so let's go up here Well done, the little scampy. He did his bit there. Oh, torch book. Oh, well, might as well take it anyway. This is um, really quite a good farming area, actually, guys. It really is. I mean, you, um, we may have to come back to this. I don't know. Or maybe not. Yeah, we, we, yeah, the, um, yeah, let's just take it anyway. We may get a chance to kill him later on. Somebody's already killed the guy there, but never mind. This is what you get, really, obviously, with a game like this. Big MMO games, you you know, you get a lot of scrapabilia going on. <laughs> I call it. I mean, it's, it's just all over the place, basically. Touch bugs everywhere. All around the tree. Mm, that's what I want, touch bug thorax. Right, so they've been and probably got this one now as well, so... Um, yeah, they, yeah. So it's not. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, um, we we can just afterwards we can just come and just mince it afterwards. 
Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, no worries. I mean, we don't... Obviously, we're not going to... We miss out on the XP of it, but... It doesn't really matter, because... Um, we can carry on killing them as we want later on. Um, it's a great farming place, and you can just go around now and, and just kill loads of skeletons and... Gotta, I have to just kind of, yeah, get in a little bit of a mode with it. I've got to get used to maybe rotating with it and stuff like that. I have to say, um, just check that I've not missed out on anything. There's, if I remember, it's a long, long time since I've done this. Really, um, well, I did it, you know, it's when I did it with my tank, actually, my Nord tank, and, and then, obviously, before that, I did it with my, um, damage dealer, but, it, yeah, just takes a little... Yeah, he took a bit longer to kill. So obviously I need to just focus a little bit more on how I do this. Um. Yeah. Big, um, that's a bit better that. Quicker. Right. Yeah, that's better. That's a little bit more like it. That's, yeah. Spending too long. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm just enjoying myself really. I'm not... Uh, Here we go. Snake tongue. down. Alright then, I think we're, um, they do regenerate quite quickly those bosses, to be honest. Anyway, let's go up here and let's get our sky shard. This is another, whoops, oh dear, fancy meeting you up here then. <laughs> oh well, have that. Lovely frying tonight. <laughs> and frying again. Whoops. Whoa, we've levelled up guys. We have levelled up. Um, okay, well, like, before we just, yeah, do like this, just get rid of... See, it doesn't take long. It does not take long to level up. And let's get our little sky shard here. Yeah, why not? That's good. lovely so we can get our level six rewards can't we we've got our sky shot which is really really good so let's just do that now um and go on our character uh and let's, last time i honest you know really and it was saying it on the top uh, you know your inventory is full and I, I, I was wondering what was going on i couldn't claim it so uh and it was so obvious it was telling me at the top Always look at the information on your screen. My daughter continually tells me to do that. Like, you know, Dad, Dad, just look at the screen and it's telling you. <laughs> so we've got one attitude point, one skill point, 25 Gold Coast Swift Survivor. That's fine. Right, so we'll stick another one in there and... Lovely, that's good. Um, let's have a look at our high health skills. Yeah, come on, let's start putting some in, in that. 
spell recharge yeah because we, we know for certain we're going to need those obviously so we're, it's that's safe really isn't it um uh let's place the torch no the torch bug <laughs> right the snake rune stone column <laughs> torch bug oh my right the whale rune stone and the eagle rune stone very simple there we are lovely and now we can enter sky shroud barrow oh here he is and by the way let's just quick have a look because yep ash maybe that's what we wanted wasn't it ash no it wasn't never mind <laughs> um yeah. i don't like much for your tomb mate because not a lot in it is there here he is stand once more at the seat of my power i'm a spectre a mere shade forced to watch as a necromancer defiles my body kill him okay so it wasn't working out too well for you in the end was it really after all that, let's read the bookshelf. There we are, destruction stack increased to nine. That's my point. That's why it's important to read bookshelves. Well, not read bookshelves, but read books. If you know what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> bookshelves you can't read, but books on them you can. Take that, matey. You have fulfilled your purpose. Well done, Worm. Thank you for calling me Worm. That's so kind of you. Worm. Goodbye, Worm. <laughs> Lockpick. I tell you what, they, they, they could... They could do a little bit more, couldn't they, um, in, in these um, urns and stuff for you, for goodness sake. I mean, they could. This is this is true throughout the whole game, really, this. Um, they are just so bad at... Really, really are. The Scroll of Banishment. So the vile practice of necromancy is forbidden within the Lion God. You are hereby banished from covenant do domains. Severin Charlie, you have been remanded to General Serene of Serien. He is travelling south on a military campaign. He may use you as an asset in any way he sees fit. May Akatos have mercy on your soul, Lord General Averos. Or Averos or whatever. And of course we can't we can't actually get the um sack because that keeps coming up scroll of banishment. So that's really useful, thank you. Brilliant. Um job done really. Anything else? All tidy and done, yeah. Rock pick. Oh wow, I needed one of them, didn't I? Come on then, let's get out because I, I don't believe it, time is just going already. Wow. You, you, you know, you can be on this game and it seems like 10, 15 minutes and an hour's gone. Here he is. The undead are gone. What did you do? I found evidence of a necromancer working with the Covenant. The Covenant here? Trolls blood, I have to warn the village. I'll head back. See if you can find any of the other villagers on the island. You may have to evacuate soon. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do now. I wouldn't have thought those milk drinkers would leave their cosy taverns to come down here. I'll have to get this wound seen to then. I'm going to need my sword arm. What now, Dodge? If that necromancer was working for the Covenant, we're all in danger. I'll head back to the village to prepare our defenses. You'll need to search the island for villagers and send them back to Blink Rock Village. Good luck! I'll find as many as I can. So, there we are, guys. That's what we have to do. Uh, find the missing villagers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That worked out well. 
Oh, they're friendly now. They're actually friendly. All right then. Oh well. I mean, I could have tapped, but the obviously there's no point now then. Now I do seem to. I'm sure I'm, I remember. Is it round here? There was a chest around here somewhere. Yeah, with a burr. I wonder though. Yes, look at that. Wow. Oh, well, it's a simple one. Hmm. And there we are. That's our um, automatic looting working really well. Look at that. I'm so pleased I remembered that chest. <laughs> now we've got a new skill line there. So we've got to um, make our way back down now, yeah. I can't, I can't believe I actually remembered that chest. There's no point in attacking, I mean we could, but you know, we can go on to greater things, can't we now? <laughs> um, yeah, because we've done that guys, so let's look at the map now. We're all here, we've, we've got everything around here, we've done that. That's fine, we can basically leave here now. Um, but there is a place there we need to get, guys. So let's, oh, let's head this way. Why not? Find as much as we can. It makes sense, really, doesn't it? Um, can we get down here? Let's try. Well, look, uh, let's just take the steps. Why not? <laughs> um, that does make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Instead of risking jumping, uh, where are we? Yeah, we're doing all right. That's good. We're on the right track. Yeah, so to speak. Um, the skellies are fine with us, they don't mind us anymore, so let's go down here, that's good. Um, this is, um, you can you can really enjoy yourself on this island guys, and, and personally, personally speak, speak, speaking, sneaking, sneaking, yeah, personally speaking, <laughs> Um, I just think you, um, you ju you, you'll you enjoy it, you'll just enjoy yourselves. If you've not played this before, I just recommend you just enjoy this moment. Um, enjoy the island, go round it all, explore it all, because after that, once you've done it, you've done it, and it, you know it's gone then, and you know it's not the same, it's n well I'm saying that, look at me, I mean I'm, I'm having a rail of a time here guys, really am, absolutely enjoying myself, so yeah. <laughs> um, just find everywhere. There's lots and lots of chests everywhere um, for you to find. Uh, lots of enemies to attack. Um, and yeah, it's good, good fun. Um, I want to get this here. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way to get to it. Um, yes, I think I probably am. I'm not setting active mount, have I? That's obviously something I have got a mount, so I might as well do that. Really. Oh, hang on. Frost Edge Camp. Ooh. Am I preempting something here? Maybe. Bandit note above. Oh, Bandit's my favourite. I eat bandits for breakfast. <laughs> Easy. Bandit note. Urgent message about our progress at Hoslin's Folly. Read the note. 
The work at Hogsins go slowly, capture any villages you find and bring them back to the camp. Then you can trade them for food. We'll accept the villagers living or dead, however they want to play it. Wow. The Jordan Oathbreaker. I have to stop local bandits. I'll burn their supplies and rescue their prisoners. Hmm. Rescue the prisoner at Frosted's camp. Wow. Alright then. I just see that iron ore. Right. Let's get these supplies burnt then. Free the captive. Where is the captive? Above. Let's get this captive free. Right, we just come from over here, aren't we? You're not one of the bandits. Help me! How did they capture you? They got me in the forest. We were gathering firewood. Deadring, my brother, tried to fight. They split his skull with an axe. Great. I thought I was a dead man until you arrived. Let me untie you. Shores bones. Thank you. I'd like to kill every one of those bandits. But I'm no fighter. I'm glad you are. Kill a few for dead ring. I'll buy you a drink back at the village. Okay. They'll do that. Let's get rid of that one there over there. Oh! Oh, she's a... I thought she was a bandit! <laughs> Wow. Alright, then we've leveled up. So, and guys, we are literally out of time. So at least, well, let's go over here, guys. Because if, <laughs> yep. And we'll level up next time. I'm going to stop it here, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you have, please don't forget to give us a like and press that spell, uh, the thumbs up, and um, subscribe. That would be great. Guys, happy gaming, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you next time. It's Mikey H signing out. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.